Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to make pre-chat fields read only in Salesforce embedded chat. In this demo, I am going to make pre-chat fields read only by using Salesforce embedded service chat in an experience cloud site. So this is the example. So this first name, last name and the mobile number, I cannot edit it. It is read only. So we are going to see how to achieve this. In order to make pre-chat fields read only, in the experience cloud site builder or in the embedded service chat, we don't have any out of the box configuration. But we can use a lightning web component to display the pre-chat form and we can make those fields read only. So first let's look into the uh, lightning web component. So this is the simple lightning web component I am using to make the fields read only. So here I am using lightning input and I have, I have set the attribute read only so by default it will be true so read only equal to will be set to true let's see what is this fields and why i am displaying field name as the key name as name label as label and value as value so let's see what is this field and how it is displaying it so this is a simple html page where i am using lightning input uh, with the fields as uh, um, variable and then I'm iterating each and every uh, fields uh, uh, array and then I'm displaying all its name label and value and I have made sure I have read only so here I have another button called lightning button and then uh, th this will show start chat and um, I'm using the title as start label we will see what is this value we will also see what happens when we call this handle start chat when the button is clicked so this is my simple HTML page in the JavaScript make sure you import lightning snap in slash base pre chat so when you implement this you will get pre chat fields and also yeah, so using this um, you can find the fields and also um, you can have this uh, name list um, and the first uh, here I what I have is connected callback so this is uh, uh, called when the component is loaded uh, I am so this is my custom field which we talked a few seconds a few minutes earlier so I'm iterating each and every field and then I'm converting that fields array into um, uh, this label name value to <coughs> uh, to field and then I'm returning label comma value comma name required and max length. So this is how uh, I'm returning this particular field each and every um, uh, uh, value. Uh, so this basically what it does is I have pre-chat fields since I'm using lightning uh, snap in slash base pre-chat I will get this pre-chat fields I'm iterating it um, this particular um, uh, um, placement is different like label name value required maximum length so for each every which and each and every values in the field I'm converting that into label name value required and max length it has additional attributes but I'm not going to focus on that so that's the reason I'm truncating all other attributes and then I am getting label name value required and max length and then um, the, for this uh, name list what I am doing is I wanted all the names of the fields uh, which is like a key so that's the reason I'm using this name list when we initiate a chat this is very very important because it will map each and every uh, value whatever is entered here so that's the reason I'm using this name list 
so this is mandatory uh, code uh, which will pass hey this is the name and this is the value through which salesforce will get this pre-chat values and then initiate the chat and i'm just checking whether this fields values are uh, valid and then i'm starting the chat so html is very simple uh, javascript is also very simple so i'm just uh, truncating all the additional attributes here and then i'm getting all the key attributes like label name value required and max length and then i'm getting all the name uh, uh, fields here next uh, when uh, when i click start chat this method will be called and then it will pass all the name and value uh, to this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, chat and then i'm starting the chat okay so now, now i have a simple css code uh, in order to get a similar look and feel from salesforce i'm just using this particular css uh, values you can add additional uh, um, css also you can right click uh, the chat widget you can find out what is the relevant uh, um, css uh, class they are using it and based on it you can definitely update it here next in the meta.xml file i am using target as lightning snap in underscore pre chat page if i don't use this target i won't be able to use this lightning web component as the pre chat form so my lightning web component is ready when i use this my pre chat uh, uh, component will be um, uh, will be displayed when I initiate a chat and it will make all the fields read only because I'm using lightning input and then read only so now you have to go to embedded service deployment view viewer embedded service deployment under chat settings section click edit you can click edit and then you can replace this pre-chat with the lightning web component which you created please check, check the video description i will definitely share my blog post using which you can get all the sample code so that you can use that as a reference and then you can start building it so now i have replaced my pre-chat with the lightning web component which i have developed so now if I initiate a chat my lightning web component will be displayed and in my experience cloud uh, sorry in my embedded service chat I have name and mobile so it is displaying name and mobile fields and everything will be read only even if I try to type it won't be I won't be able to enter any values because I am making use of read only so using this uh, simple lightning uh, uh, web component we can make pre chat fields read only in Salesforce embedded chat I hope it was helpful please check the video description I will definitely share my blog post in it you can open it and then you can find all the relevant uh, codes which uh, uh, were discussed in this video thank you for watching